Hi guys, it's Jenny. Alrighty, in this video we're gonna take care of this Vanda Orchid. If you've watched one of my previous videos related to fungal infections, you might already know what the case is with this one. If you haven't watched that video, I'll just add an info card on the screen right now so you know what happened. I'll give you a brief story of this. There seems to be a problem with the roots of this orchid. There seems to be a lot of dead roots inside this basket. I can feel it when I water this orchid. It smells horrible. And um, yeah, look at the leaves. I have a terrible, terrible fungal infection on this orchid. And honestly, I don't see any way to treat it other than to eliminate the cause. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. I'll try to cut away all these dead roots that smell really, really bad and are decomposing right here. So hopefully this will treat the fungal infection. Now comes the heartbreaking part. I will have to damage a lot of the roots on this orchid, but I need to get it out of this basket and clean the basket. I'll show you the damage. You can see here a lot of roots that are attached to this basket, but look at this, they are dead, absolutely dead. I need to clean out this basket really well, I need to spray this orchid with hydrogen peroxide, I'll damage a lot of good roots as well in the process, but I just have to, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I pre-soaked this orchid to make the roots a little bit more flexible, and now it's time to pull this orchid out of the basket. It's really stuck in there, so I'm not sure this is gonna be pretty. Oh, I'm not sure how to do this, but that's what we're gonna try to do. So I'm just trying to find a place where I can grab this orchid by the base and try to pull it off. Uh, nah, this will not come off. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do now is try to remove the roots from this basket as much as I can. And I think I'm gonna go get some gloves because I'm already getting freaked out. Alrighty, this is better. There's gonna be a lot of work here. I also will use the cutter. I sterilized it with some alcohol. As I said, I'm pretty sure I'll have to cut a lot of the roots. As you can see, they're intertwined with this basket. So, yeah, let's get to work. I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do because this orchid does not want to come out. Um, I will try to see if I can actually remove some of the good roots from the basket because they are attached. If not, it's okay. Vandas are resilient, really, so... I think they will pull through, but some roots really need to be cut off, like these ones. These need to be cut off. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut away at these roots that intertwine with the basket. Oh, look at this one. This was already dead. So many dead roots here. That's what I'm gonna do now to make my life easier, and uh, I'll come back. Oh my, just look at this mess of dead roots. It's really unacceptable to have something like this on your Vanda orchid. I'm not really sure how this happened because Vanda baskets are just so ventilated. But there you go, it happens and it's not okay. And um, yeah, I am forced to really pull at these roots and make my way through. And hopefully it's gonna be for the benefit of the Vanda, but yeah, I get it, it's a bit heartbreaking. I am a little bit heartbroken as I do this, I have to admit. But there we go. Okay, so what I did was I actually went with the cutter on the edges, on the inside edges of the basket to, um, to kind of cut the roots and that's that. And I think we have some progress. Again, grab the orchid by the base and start to pull. And as you can see, it is starting to come off. Oh, how many dead roots I have here? This is unacceptable. Okay, not just yet. I will have to cut away some more roots but I think it's starting to come out of the basket. Okay, here we go, we're doing this. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Alrighty. Yeah, take a look at this. This huge, huge mess. There are so many dead roots and sick roots here. It's amazing, it's, it really is amazing. But I'm happy and relieved at this point, and I have new roots, so we're good, we're fine. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now is get myself a scissors and start cutting away at these roots. I'll really cut away a lot of them. They really don't look healthy. They're on the verge of rotting, they're mushy, they're soft. Not okay. I really wonder how this Vanda ended up like this. Really do wonder. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go sterilize the scissors, cut away the dead roots. I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, I'd just like to show you something. I'm actually cutting away more than I should. Look at this root. It's still viable, but look at the color. 
and the consistency is totally off. There's something very wrong with these roots, even though they're still viable. I don't know if they're gonna live for too long. They're pretty sick. So compare these roots to these types of roots, which are new roots. You can see that they have texture to them. They look really good. So as long as I have these roots, I'm not worried that I'm gonna cut away some healthy roots as well. well I, I don't think they're healthy, that's why I cut them, even if they're viable. I cut them and you can see there's some green to them. But really honestly, I don't trust that they will stay healthy for too long. So as I was saying, I have quite a lot of new roots. I'm gonna take my gamble on the new roots and I'm gonna cut away all the old roots. Look at these, look at these. I mean, they're viable, but they look really off for some reason. I don't want these around, so I'm gonna be very, <laughs> very drastic with this. And yeah, I just don't trust them. I'm just gonna cut them off. Okay, so I'm pretty much done cutting away the roots. These are it. I'll give you, I cut away some still viable roots, but they looked quite questionable. And as long as we have good looking roots like these, we really don't need questionable looking roots in our lives. So I've cut them as short as I possibly could. This can be cut even shorter and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna actually wash and disinfect this basket because I intend to reuse it. And what we're gonna do now is spray the whole root system with hydrogen peroxide as best as we can. And then we're gonna come back and we're actually gonna cut the leaves. So that's gonna be another sad part, but we need to do it, I believe. Alrighty, I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, we are back. I sterilized everything with hydrogen peroxide, washed everything. And now comes the second very hard part, to cut away the affected leaves. I really doubt they will ever get any better than this. I really doubt they will actually survive much longer on the orchid like this. And what I fear is that it's just a playground for the fungal infection to multiply and spread. And uh, sadly, I'll have to look at this orchid without leaves. But yeah, it's my fault because I didn't intervene earlier. I actually tested it for viruses, but it's not a virus. It came out negative, just a fungal infection. Alrighty, so I'm gonna look underneath each leaf and see which one is affected. And each and every one that has these spots will get snapped off. So I disinfected my scissors once again, just to be sure with alcohol. So what I'm gonna do now is identify each leaf that has spots and give it a snip. Ah, I don't like doing this. One is off. Yeah. Damn hair, I have long hair and it's everywhere. This needs to come off as well. I cannot give clean cuts because they're just so fleshy. This one, yep, we need to go too. Alrighty, three down. These still look good, I don't need to cut these. This is a new one, hopefully it's gonna look better. But yeah, on this side, this one needs to go, but I will not cut it all the way. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm sick. This needs to go as well. Oh my goodness, this is really affected. Make sure you don't cut other leaves that you're not supposed to cut. See? This is very similar to what I had on the Encyclia. And the Encyclia is doing good now. After I eliminated the cause. Okay, now this orchid has a baby and sadly the baby has an affected leaf as well, so it will need to be cut as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is more painful than I expected. Okay, it's off. And this one, not so affected. I'm just gonna leave this one, see how it does. Maybe it's not gonna spread. And yeah, alrighty, what I'm gonna do now is actually sterilize my cut wounds and I'm gonna do so by applying cinnamon dust. Now, cinnamon dust actually desiccates, dehydrates a layer of tissue. And if something is dry, it cannot rot. So that's the whole point of using cinnamon dust. I'll try to be careful with it and not spread it all over the place. I might, but it's okay. Oop, too much. So I'm just gonna go on the cut wounds and seal them off. Just like so. 
If the powder spreads, just blow on it. And it's gone. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Alrighty now, my orchid is prepared to go back into its basket. Now the way I'm gonna do this, let's see if I can actually put this long root through the basket. There we go. I think this will do. And to stabilize it, I'm actually gonna use some raffia tape. I'm not sure if it actually needs stabilizing. Let me see. Maybe it doesn't. You know what? Now I don't think this orchid is stable enough, so what I'm gonna do, as I was saying, is use raffia. Now raffia is a nice little material that is supposed to degrade because it is biodegradable. However, it does not degrade really fast, I've discovered. And when it starts to break down, it just becomes brittle and snaps. That's all it does. It does not get moldy, does not get mushy, does not get anything bad. So I actually love raffia. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a little bit of the remaining roots. It's just like so. Let's make a knot here. Let's make a double knot. There we go. And now I'm gonna run the threads through the basket because I'm gonna stabilize it somehow. There we go. Now let's just try to make this orchid go into the basket once again. Okay, and now I'm just gonna tie the raffia underneath the basket like so. Moments like these when I wished I had three or four hands. But what can you do? Alrighty. And there you go, we're a little bit more stable now. Just gonna cut the ends and we're done. Okay, so being that the circuit is pretty tiny, I'm not gonna use the hook because it's too long. I'm just gonna use one of my plastic hooks and I'm gonna just put it on the basket and I'm gonna be pretty much done. So, alrighty, this was my attempt to make this circuit better. And yeah, I know it looked drastic. It was. Uh, hard for me to do as well, but I think it's for the benefit of the orchid. Now, if you're not okay with cutting so many roots, just don't, and your experience will pretty much tell you what you need to do for the future. Uh, my experience has been that the more you clean the source and the cause of your troubles, um, the less problems you'll have, because let's face it, no matter how many fungicides we use, we cannot stop nature from doing its thing. And nature is very good at decomposition. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll keep you up to date with this orchid. Hopefully things will get better now. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos. Also feel free to leave me comments, suggestions, questions, whatever problems you might have with orchids in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch a video on how to properly care for Vanda orchids. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Bye.